Hamish Rutherford joins us after back-to-back -back wins against Kent and uh, two good wins really gets our season up and running in the uh, Friends Life 2020, Hamish. Yeah, you're right. Uh, the last two games have been, you know, the way we finished them off have been great. I think uh, it really helps our run rate, which is always nice later on in the competition. Yeah, indeed. And uh, you're doing the job that uh, yep. you were asked to do at the top of the order, getting the innings off to a big lift and uh, forming a useful partnership with Mark Patini. But uh, I guess also you're brushing up on your first aid with him at the moment. He seems to be in the wars, doesn't he? Yeah, <laughs> yeah he needs to take a few uh, concrete pills for the fella. <laughs> No, you're right, we seem to have a, have a good relationship at the crease, which is always nice, have a bit of fun, but it would be nice to, to kick on. Um, and if, you know, especially out there today, if we'd stayed out for three or four more overs, we could have posted the total that we probably want. Yes, indeed. And, uh, I mean, all right, you've seen the our season evolve. We had the rain off with Hampshire, uh, then a disappointing result at Lords, uh, but then showed the character of the side by coming back with these two wins in three days. And, uh, you know, it's all positive now, isn't it? No, you're right. I think there was positive stuff out of um, Middlesex. Obviously, the first game was disappointing for some friends, but there were some good things about Middlesex, but also some bad things. Um, you know, we've been away and assessed that. And I think that the brand of cricket we're playing over the last three days has, has been brilliant. So I think we've got a few days off now, um, a bit of training, but yeah, back here on Friday for, a, for another big game. Yes, indeed. And uh, watching, you, watching your bat refer to the way you launched the innings, but... Uh, I think a bit of a sparkle comes in your eyes, doesn't it, when you're batting down at that haze close end, that short boundary over there. You seem to, uh, you know, <laughs> seems to get the hairs on the back of your neck going, and the, the crowd ducking for cover. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, short boundaries are great for batsmen, aren't they? Um, and even this ground as well. You know, there's lightning fast out there, so it is nice once you get in. Um, but as I said before, it'd be quite nice to kick on and, and post the decent score. Yes, indeed. And uh, talking about you, you've been the victim of a couple of, uh, shall we say, iffy decisions you probably say a lot more but as we're on camera and kids might watch this <laughs> uh, but you, you you weren't best pleased with two of those decisions were you but hopefully your luck will pan out and uh, in the, by the end of the competition you know it's uh, six of one and nine of the other maybe <laughs> yeah it would be nice to as I said yeah, get a bit of luck and one, one swing my way but if I continue to do the right thing then hopefully I'll swing yes indeed Hamish thanks for talking to us well done for your part in our success anyway